Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we are going to find the area of this given circle whose center is at C and this angle B, C, D is 60 degrees and moreover this chord A, D is 6 units. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula which is pi r square where r is the radius of this circle. So therefore we are going to find the radius r of this circle and here r is the radius of this circle as you can see. And now let's recall this central angle theorem. According to this theorem, the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. We know that this angle at the center is 60 degrees and this is the angle at the circumference. Then according to this theorem, this angle is going to be the half of this 60 degrees. So that means this angle is going to be 30 degrees. So therefore our angle CAD turns out to be 30 degrees as you can see over here. And now let's focus on this triangle ACD and we know that these sides, this side is R and this side is R as well. So therefore this triangle ACD is an isosceles triangle because this side length is equal to this side length. Here's our next step. Let's go ahead and draw a perpendicular from this point C onto this uh, chord AD since uh, this is perpendicular so this has got to be 90 degrees and since uh, these two sides are congruent so therefore this perpendicular is going to bisect this chord into two equal parts. This side is going to be this side. If this whole thing is 6, then this is going to be 3 units and this is going to be 3 units as well. And here's our much nicer looking diagram. And now let's focus on this triangle APC as you can see over here. And we can see that this triangle APC is a right triangle. And here I have copied down this right triangle APC where this side length AC is radius R. This side length AP is 3 units and this angle is 30 degrees. And now let's recall this Soka Toa chart and we can see that our cosine theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. In our case this side is our adjacent and this side is uh, our hypotenuse. So therefore our cosine of 30 degrees is going to be adjacent in our case is 3 divided by hypotenuse is radius r and we know that cosine of 30 degrees is square root of 3 divided by 2 so therefore I'm going to replace this thing I'm going to write down square root of 3 divided by 2 equals to 3 divided by r. Now let's go ahead and cross multiply so we are going to get square root of 3 times r equal to 2 times 3 is going to be 6. Now let's divide both sides by square root of 3 to isolate radius r. This and this is gone. So radius r turns out to be 6 divided by square root of 3. Now let's go ahead and rationalize this part. I'm going to multiply and divide by square root of uh, 3. So therefore our radius is going to be 6 times square root of 3 divided by this denominator is going to give us 3 and if we reduce this thing our radius turns out to be 2 times square root of uh, 3 and that's our radius. And here's our final step. Since we figured out our radius equals to 2 times the square root of 3 units and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, circle. 
and here's the area of a circle formula pi r square let's go ahead and calculate that one area is going to be pi times r in our case 2 times square root of 3 whole square so that is going to give us 12 pi square units this uh, area of this uh, circle and now we know that pi is approximately equal to 3.14 if we put it in this one so our area is going to be approximately equal to 37.714 square units and thus here's the area of the circle thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye